Yep, I see what that is. That's that's bait. Get all of our villagers over there so we can just pick them up and walk away with them. Which means the fire doesn't get put out because they're all being taken away. But if they do manage to get the fire out, don't worry, tank here. He'll just, he'll end it. Yeah, 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 yeah. We saved the stockpile. Ooh, someone shot him in the back and he went, hey, I'm going to eat your farm. Folks, welcome back to Handyshire. We're what year 114, I think I saw. Looks like autumn. I see. Uh, actually, what do I see here? It looks like they're harvesting, but they're just standing there, not taking their food anywhere. What is that all about? We have room. I wonder if coming out of a save messes up that first year. Oh, I see. Now we're harvesting. I wonder why they were holding so much food prior to that. That's interesting. Snow's starting to fall, so it's kind of the trigger fall into winter. All right. Boy, that just that comes on so quick. <laughs> Insta snow. Um, I was talking last time, I think, about an experiment I wanted to do here with putting in another farm and sharing this corner to see if it double stacked. But Vapa let me know he'd already conducted that experiment and it does not work. So, no benefit to having multiple windmills scattered around. And here's a Viking raid. Mm hmm, where are they coming from? Where's our weakest spot? Alright, four battle groups and a tank. Yep, that's their, uh, their usual MO at this point in the game. So you're coming in here, wiping out my forest. And what? You're going to come in here and kind of plow through and mess all of the stuff up. So, we've got zero idlers. What's being worked on right now? Oh, we don't have a whole lot of people in, uh, in town either. 173 out of 220. Let's throw a festival during this attack to kind of offset the, uh, the negative that's going to hit because of the attack. And we'll get in here and kind of watch what's happening. First guy's already made it in. I see they're plowing into the woods over here and gonna light all of this on fire, aren't they? The uh, archer towers are starting to come in range. Yep, there goes the stockpile. Oh, come on, guys. Take out a building, but not the whole stockpile. A lot are being uh, taken down. Though, I would imagine they'll start carrying us off now that we're all running over here to put out the fire. Yep, I see what that is. That's, that's bait. Get all of our villagers over there so we can just pick them up and walk away with them. Which means the fire doesn't get put out because they're all being taken away. But if they do manage to get the fire out, don't worry, tank here. He'll just, he'll end it. Yeah, 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 yeah. We saved the stockpile. Ooh, someone shot him in the back and he went, Hey, I'm going to eat your farm. <laughs> Now what are you going to do? Not the granary. No. Ooh. Yep. 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 Take him out. Take him out. Take him out. Come on. This will take maybe two pounds. Ah. The the repair wall just went up. Come on. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Oh. And all that food. Ah. You know, if we take him out in one battle, it'd be nice if he didn't show up the next one. It'd be a nice way of saying... You know, we have to breed more ogres, so um, there'll be there'll be no attack next time. I wonder where they get their ogres. I wonder if they have an ogre breeding ground. Let's see, demolish you and demolish you. So we need to put in a farm, a small granary there, and a forester there. Okay, I think we're still we're still working on defenses. I think that's the next logical move. We got a surplus, though our happiness is back down to to 54 because of the negative 35 trauma from recent Viking attack. 
Yeah, I would be traumatized by that too. So let's throw money at it. That always works. And we got all this rebuilding. Uh, no idlers because they're constructing. But nothing else is being built right now. Just this group in here. Right? I think so. We did get more defenses over here. So... I'm thinking we could use one more in this area. And then this end is done. And then... Something here. And something here. How does that sound? I think that works. Just trying to figure out pathways. You are... A forester. So to shoot right through here is not the best plan. Even though that's the natural break. If I were to head in about here, would it do any good? I mean, we can put one here. Or do we just put it here? Oh, snow, go away. Need to see the ground. It's too enough out here. I think so. I think that will encircle us nicely. It's just a matter of where. What do we cut down? We don't really need any extra wood right now, but... Hmm. Alright. These trees have to stay because of that forester. What was that noise? He surprises me every time. Is it the big one? Nope, it's the little one. Right? I think so. We'll watch the show here. He's looking around for his target. Ooh, get him. Alright, barrage of arrows and ballista. Watch this one. Oh, that one missed. Got him. Into the water with him. Okay, good. And that gave us a little bonus. Plus 20 excited about recent dragon kill. And negative 7 church is recently overcrowded. Ah, oh, we just went back over 200. Okay. So we need another church. But I think we're going to live with that one for a while. Let's get these building. I'm going to pause here. Because it's probably going to snow again on me. And let's think this through. I would like the road to turn in. That doesn't leave him with a lot of trees. Does he have to stay there? Any other alternatives? Don't want to really go out here because that's that's a big target. I'll be taken down every time. So I guess he needs to stay here so he can be protected. Okay. Well. Is that... I get the right one? I did not. There we go. So... This is the pathway right here that I'm able to use. So let's do this. Let's just send a line through here. All right, with that, where does the tower go? I think on this side of the road. So let's take out, well, it needs to reach. This guy reaches that well, so that Looks pretty much right in there. I think so. Chop you. Chop you. Alright, over here. I don't know if two are going to do it. This looks good for taking or protecting the base of this one. Nothing's really going to protect... Well, this will protect the base of that one. And this will protect the base of that one, too. And these will kind of all overlap each other. Yeah. Actually, this area looks pretty good. Okay. So, really, it's a matter of these two interacting with each other, and I don't think that's possible unless we head up uh, ten blocks high. So, alright, let's look at it this way. This is not needed. We could road down and over and get into here maybe or even right there right there would work 
That might be it. Okay, let's go for that idea. So let's start dropping some roads in as we can. We do have some idle people, but not many. We've got 25 tools. I'm pretty sure everything that uses tools is using tools. I don't know what their lifespan is. You know, good tools increase cutting by 10%. So tools are here. Does it show me who's work? Yep, he's got a hammer in his hand. And he is an apprentice. Why is he just standing there? Oh, I'm on pause. That's right. There we go. Oh, he's much happier. He was just stuck there. Um, I'm thinking let's take down the tool industry for a while and get back that labor. Let's shut down the mine and shut down the blacksmith. And suddenly we've got eight idle workers. Great. Or idle peoples. Eight idle. Who will start taking all these trees down. Good, good, good. All right, let's put some roads in. Down. Road. I want to run down through here. Turn. And we'll stop there. These are heading in this pathway. We'll watch this work. Look at all those wiggly trees. <laughs> we got wigglers. Big termite problem here. Alright, the forest is being cleared like there's a, uh, a major power line going down the middle of the forest. So they clear a huge swath all the way down so the trees in the future can't fall on the, on the wires. Alright, that's looking pretty impressive there. Let's pop up a little bit more. Town, road, fire this road on through here. At least to this point for now. And let's tower into there. That leaves me one, two, three, and a dead area. There's always a reason why I can't put a full farm in there. Maybe we can put an orchard in here. How is food doing? Well, food's holding in that 1,000 range. We'll keep an eye on that. Um, are we ready? We're ready. Castle, block, two, three, four, five, and six. Let's see what that actually does. From this point, give me the ballista. Not really doing it. These two inter interact well with each other. It would have been nice to have uh, been able to protect that one. Uh, this one as well. Only kind of. Okay. So these two have really got to work well with each other. Let's try going up one more on each. And it stopped. Why did it not let me build anymore? That was interesting. Huh. That is wild. I can't keep clicking. Like before. You saw me when I built these. I just went boom, 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 boom. Now when I build one. Right there. Oh, now it's staying. I wonder if it has to do with the distance that I'm away. That might be a thing. Anyway, with you, let's put in the ballista. And there was a message there. What did that say? Um, castle ballista. Only built atop castle walls. Maybe that's what it was saying, because it's not giving it to me now. It must have been right up there. Okay, I think it's one 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 away. Okay, archer tower right there. Next. Defenses in here. That covers this swath right here. That's what I need to see. Yeah. All right, then. So we're going to go here until we can cover the base of this. So castle, still 220 blocks left. And what was that? Terrible plague, 60 peasants. Ooh, that's a lot. Um, let's get this built rather quickly. There's five and five. And then... Wander around and see if there are any peasants that can't be reached again. That is no good. So, six, six. I'm probably up like that again. Castle. Yeah, that's probably where I need to be. And one more. Archer. 
Okay. Now, who still has the plague? Let me try to manipulate my controls here. There we go. Got to get in like this. You get too far away. Oh, they're climbing up the walls to help them. <laughs> and they're climbing back down. Aha. Anybody else still with the plague in here? No, yeah, we're looking pretty good. I don't see anybody that uh, couldn't be reached. Whoa, hit the side of the screen. All right, will it tell us that none have taken ill when it's all done? I guess I'll have to wait and see. We'll talk to our advisors while we're waiting. Agriculture, what you got? Mm, what is that? No, it didn't say anything but ill. Took too long to get the harvest in. Yep. Good day, good day. So with that, still well, only 40 stone. So we're done building towers for a while. But that's becoming a pretty good ring of protection. Maybe a single smaller tower in between some of these. Not necessarily ballista, but just archers. Maybe that's a, something to consider. Now, I've been uh, watching... Oh, I think it was... Is it Reddit? Reddit. I think. No, Discord. Discord, that's that's it. Uh, where the, uh, Kingdoms and Castles Discord. Where uh, a lot of folks talk back and forth about how to improve the game and whatnot. And I saw one uh, suggestion come in that I had been talking about. That you should be able to build a castle wall around the important buildings and then sound off a, a bell, like the, the church bell, when you're being attacked so that everybody will come running in and be protected inside the castle walls. I'm hoping that's something they're going to implement. It doesn't make sense to run walls around an entire island. That just, that just seems, I don't know, not realistic. So we'll see if that is something that, uh, that gets a little more uh, attention in the uh, weeks to come as they continue working through the beta. Anyway, what is next? The distance here, distance there. I think I'm going to call that one done and concentrate on another subdivision out here. And then a couple more towers dotting around it, interacting with these guys. I think that's the next priority. But let's let things get built. Zero idle peoples. Is there anything else that's not necessary? Tools are down to nine. We have plenty of ore, but the tools are running out. So apparently we do not have a long work life on our tools. So we'll just wait for folks to become available again and try to stave off the, the tool crisis of, of 121. 120 years we've been at this. Wow. Terrible plague. 19 peasants have taken ill. Watch the, the plague doctors do their job there. Their little white uh, beaks. Let's see, where else are we? Over here. Let's see if I can sneak a view in there. Running through. Who's assigned to you? There he goes. He's going to get him. Got him. All right. And then he grabbed... No, I thought he had some food on him. So they're running back to the hospital. Done with their job. Oh, paper mache bird, crash landing. So I guess I'll know when we have workers when the blacksmith has become employed again. Where is that? From this angle, it looks so different. There he is. Three of three. We're working. Oh, I see. They finished one layer, then they looked around to be reassigned. So that means probably some of these don't have any workers. Yep, zero of five, zero of five. All of them are zero of five. You're kidding me. What else is being built? Unless I clicked on the wrong layer or something. I don't know. Let's watch this. See, they're bringing stuff in. So it is being built, even though it says 0 of 5. 
So apparently it's it's showing me a layer that's not being worked on yet, but I can't click on one that is. I don't know where I click here. It doesn't uh, go vertical. Now it doesn't show me anything. Okay. So not very uh, real or trustworthy there on the on the the numbers that it wants to show. Uh, or we're still fine on or. Okay. So what is next? Is the subdivision the next thing? And if so, I'm going to hit pause so that the snow won't take out our, our view again. All right, so food closing in on 1,200. The harvest just happened. So we saw nines and we're seeing upper 11s. So two to 300 food swing going on out of 16. I say we improve the food one more time and then house. Though if you do that, there's no one to build the houses. So there's that problem. So we build the houses first and then get the food in as fast as we can so we don't have a food crisis. Is that the plan? I'm seeing a road here and maybe a path for a road here, but it only goes three spaces. We're going to have a dead zone all the way through there. So I guess a road here and then a road well, that will give me one, two, three, and then one, two, three, a road here. If you want to max them out the, the space with as few roads as necessary. Um, if we went through here, right through the heart of the, of the green area, then we can get three on each side. How are we doing here? One, two, three. So we're good through this swath right here. One, two, three, road. So we need something right in here. Hmm... Well, I'd say it's pretty safe that we're going to grab these. I just don't know what the future plan is. Is this going to be just housing? In which case I can skip even worrying about saving places for food. Let's do it this way. Where else do we have trustworthy for food? We have that swath there. And we have orchards in a couple of spots. And that's it over here. So that would be good food. Over here, we have what's down underneath, which is not that easy to see. I can click on them. This should say barren. Unusable stone, okay. So I can pass through fertile, very fertile. This area looks pretty good for food, as well as for trees. Looks very good in here. Hmm. 300 wood. Let's grab some workers by shutting down the forester right there and right there. All right, those are turned off. And instead, let's put you guys to work clearing some trees. So, turn this back on. Uh, that's not it. Tab is on for oxygen not included. One is back on for this game. So many different commands. You kind of wish there was just a, an industry standard that every game used spacebar to pause. I, w I wish. To pause, well, some of them use, use spacebar to jump, too. So, yeah, there is that. Anyway, um, jump. So... I want to maintain probably this area. So let's chop from here on in. That was a cancel. Alright, try that again. Plague? 72 this time. Ouch. Can't tell if I'm missing any in here. Alright, let's go one more row this whole area. I'm canceling. <laughs> I need to pick a word that doesn't start with a C for cancel. Undo. I think food is going to happen over here. That was a cancel. I feel like I'm missing a square in here somewhere. Hmm. Well, I'll let them clear that out. 
All right, so if that is going to be future food, then all of this can be future roads and housing and church and uh, tavern and market. Huh. One peasant died from the plague. That was a lot of people inf infected. So I guess I can't argue with that one. I'm actually surprised the results were that good. So our plague doctors are doing the job. <clears throat> and I'm thinking I need, to, I need to reserve a pathway in here. There's no way to road through this. Well, I could, I could sneak through there. So we need to come through here. We need to get through here. So this one seems obvious. Let's go ahead and put that one in. As much as it will let me. I can go there, there, there. Good. And... One... So... If, okay, I'm good for one, two, three. So one, two, three, road. That's where it needs to go. There's a city block in Kingdoms and Castles. So with that, what goes in first? Services or housing? I need the housing to build the services. I need the services to know where to put the houses. Yeah, gets 22. So town, let's see here. Two by three kind of wipes out all the houses in that area. All of these houses are covered. And we're covered all the way into here, too. So actually, a church could go way out over here. Or out over here. More plague. Well, that happens an awful lot. Um, of course, getting the church far enough out to make full use of his radius means it's just going to be taken out every time an ogre pops in over here. Hmm. Boy, I wish there was a way to remove rocks. What do we do with this? Let's bring this road down into here. And if I go to town and really any building, it'll show me what's already accessible so you can see the roads span all the way out into here. So all this is doable right now. So the idea is potentially to put it here to, to it doesn't show you the sphere of influence from the other churches since you're holding a church. That'd be nice to see. But this looked like it would pretty much give us this whole area for housing as far as what's needed for the church. Though I have a feeling with manor houses we could very quickly get into the 300 population range and need one more church soon. So having the biggest spread is not necessarily that important. Because we're already going to spread ourselves out beyond what the church can, uh, can do. Um... I think that looks pretty good right there. All right, you're going there. This is where I want to be able to pause it. I don't want to build the church yet, but I need to know where it's going to be. So you are going to influence this whole area. You are influencing that area, and you have got all this covered. All right, so tavern. Let's see here. Town, tavern. Doesn't do me any good. You are not a tavern. <laughs> Okay, you. Still not a tavern. There we go. So you're covering just these houses, and you're covering just these houses. So really, whatever I put in for a tavern is going to do the whole job. Okay. So town, tavern. So he has got to hit... Actually, that looks pretty good right there. So... I would say right here... And down one. Covers two in there. Covers all of this and all of that. And whatever we're going to do in here is probably going to mean another tower, a tavern, later. 
Okay, so let's drop this guy into this area. Although it doesn't cover that. So if I go there, it gives me two by twos. And it gets me into this far enough to cover it, to at least touch any house in that area. Alright, I think that's where that one belongs. So, other services, Town Square, actually doesn't cover this area. Ah, didn't catch that. Alright, so Town Square needs to be, where again? It covers right in there, so I need centered probably on that guy. Let's see that again. Yeah, something like that. Do I need a road into that? Feels like I'm, I'm losing too much ground here. Only two spaces. If that could have gone back one more. Okay. Well, the road goes here. Alright, let's think about that. Down road do something like that lots of lightning get over there see if it hits the town woohoo no it didn't start a fire and we do need a fire klaxon of some kind of siren going off when the town lights on fire that would be nice nice little little uh, detail to the game hopefully that uh, gets thought about as well. Um, I was Town Square. And I'm probably getting to where I need to shut this episode down. That's looking pretty good, although I'd want a 2 and a 2, so we need to go right there. So you can see where that hits over here. Memorize that and click this. Alright, that space right there is a problem, isn't it? Town Square. I think it'll work. If we're using manners, it'll work. Alright, is that the plan? I think so. Alright, so there's the services for our next subdivision, our next neighborhood. Otherwise, year 126, and we're maxed out on housing. Defenses are pretty good. I'm going to pause right there because it feels right it feels like it's time for the next raid to hit next viking attack and i'd kind of like to start the next episode with that so let's do that let's call this one done it's been noble rambler thanks guys for watching i'll catch you next time Bye bye